hello loves and welcome back to the channel today we are going to be doing a book coven video we're going to be talking about this book practical astrology um before we get into it though um i am having a special on all of my services all of my classes all of my readings all of my energy healing sessions past life astrology tarot all the things uh with the code lionsgate 2023 you get 40 percent off all of my services and it ends tomorrow on the 8th <laughs> so definitely make sure to take advantage of it my website will be listed down below um with that being said we're going to talk about this book um especially when it comes to you know astrology content and astrology books um this is a vintage astrology book um you could definitely find it you know it's online it's not going to be super expensive um for you to get your hands on it i like collecting um vintage astrology and vintage like spiritual books but mainly astrology books because i think that they're interesting to like read on um is the information can it be slightly outdated a little bit yes um and you do have to understand those who are writing like these type of books obviously were privileged and have their own like perceptions but they're still really really amazing to um kind of run through and read especially if you're trying to understand different you know um areas within astrology um and understanding the way that for example um one of the reasons why i really love looking at um vintage astrology books is for the way that different astrologers talk about the planets um because everybody has like different ways of describing the planetary energies and i always think it's really interesting when i find something very peculiar where it's like oh well Hmm. like it just kind of like like it, it goes like ding 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 um within my attention and it just kind of like um it's one of those moments where i'm just like oh mm, well huh <laughs> so i really really enjoy looking at um like vintage like astrology books for that for like different types of insight the way that um they perceive especially the planets also with the houses too i always like seeing the different um the different ways that they look at the planetary energies of the different ways that they explain it you can tell like the depths of how they go um with the interpretations based on how they describe uh the planetary energies um and how they talk about like especially when it comes to oh your physical appearance based on the planet that rules and all of the kind of stuff there's definitely you know like there's like some random weird insight that you get from just like you know looking at vintage books like this and and reading up and under trying to understand where they're coming from with it um i just i just find it so interesting so i really love like reading books like this like i feel like it's it's really um it's just very interesting it, it's kind of very very interesting to just kind of take a step back and uh, try to understand the way that they understood astrology back in the day versus more modern astrology when we're trying to understand um the current kind of way but also when you take into account a lot more bipoc interpretations of astrology it's also really important as well but it's also important to understand like what the hell they were saying back in the day okay um that's also important too because then you can start kind of separating the bullshit from you know the the, the kind of like the privilege and the you know let, let's just call it the privilege um, <laughs> um so for me like even looking at a lot of the ways that in here they have the signs of the zodiac they have the different explanations and they'll go in and start you know talking about oh this sign is like this and this sign you know has these qualities they behave like this in romance they behave like this in like when it comes to money they can appear like this they have these like attributes um and i find it really interesting to try to like compare it to my own understanding within astrology and also um when it comes to the different ways of consciousness which is one of the things that i've talked about a lot um and the different signs that rule over the different level, levels of consciousness it's always really interesting for me to like read these the, these types of books and 
see how they're expressing how they navigate the things that they rule so that's always like really 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 interesting to me um and for this book this book is really um I, one i do there are obviously like visual uh representations and explanations to the thing but this is it's called practical astrology because it really gives you like a, a well-rounded you know like kind of scope of astrology itself like if you look at the table of contents it kind of goes through um a lot of the basics within astrology it goes through um a lot of like the planets it goes through the signs it goes through um the aspects it goes through like looking at yearly horoscopes like it's very interesting like how this book just kind of gives you a little bit of everything so you're able to let me just show you this page so you're able to really um tap into different it's like a little ambush bush of different areas of astrology in a nice kind of packaged book so as for like a vintage astrology book i do re re recommend it i would give this three i well i did give this three out of five stars um because it could be better it could it could be better everything could be better but specifically with astrology books i could be a little picky but i do think that for a vintage book um and if you're trying to understand and get into astrology especially um when it comes to like some of the older books if you're trying to look for um like a reference i would recommend this to someone to read to kind of understand uh, because I, there's definitely within the astrology community you should know you should have some sort of understanding of how astrology was practiced before and how it's practiced now the things that have shifted how we interpret things because certain interpretations change for certain things um and how they're the perception and like the foundation of the of the practice of astrology i think is important so a book like this is a very interesting read so i do recommend it um but yeah i hope that you guys enjoyed this video i hope that it made sense um definitely i'll have it linked down below if i like have the link online you could definitely find it online i got this at a i'm trying to remember i think it's, it was at a bookshop like at a bookstore like one of those like corner you know like like a mom and pop like bookstore like a not a barnes and obviously they're not gonna sell this in barnes and noble it's vintage um but yeah i got it there and i i like i love collecting on um, vintage astrology books it's just like a really fun time for me i don't know why it's just a really fun time so yeah i recommend it um definitely you know i'll have a link down below for those who are going to want to check it out and we will be talking about different books throughout the book coven um series that where i'm just going to be recommending different books and talking about different spiritual books that i think that you guys should look into and and you know dive into if you guys are interested um in you know different and we're going to be talking about different ranges of books from different practices too because i do love reading um books from different areas and just just for reference just for knowledge um one of my, one of my sayings is like don't ever like trust someone who tells you not to read something even if it's like i mean granted there's authors out there that really like do the most and they don't really write great books spiritually but i still like reading what it is and you know i will put it in my i'll make mental notes and put it aside um if something doesn't feel right then i'll put it aside but for the most part i really enjoy just reading books um especially because the whole concept of having elders around you it's not always a present thing obviously there we're in we're living in a state where it's just like there's been so much disconnection from how we connect to different elders within certain communities that it's harder for people to have the context of the thing um so for me i love reading different books and i'm not going to tell you not to read about certain practices i would tell you to read about certain practices even if you know mm, there's some authors that are not mm, and there's some books that are not it but still i I'd rather you ha know something about the practice that you're interested in learning about than know nothing that that's where i'm coming from Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to check out the Patreon down below. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.